This is Chris Reed, Product Manager for InCentral. In this video, I'll review the new user interface in InCentral 8, as well as some of its exciting new features. One of those new features is that the All Devices view is now available at the service organization level. This lets you quickly select devices regardless of what customer they're in and perform actions against them. For example, I can use the new filtering capabilities in InCentral 8 to quickly find all devices that have Office 2007 installed. I can choose all of those devices despite them being in different customers, and then I can perform actions against them. For example, I can edit them, delete them, add services or apply service templates, or do other actions like putting them into downtime, adding a note, or running a script. If you do need to switch from the service organization level to the customer level, or from the customer level to a different customer though, that's now done in the top left-hand corner of InCentral through the drop-down menu. Simply expand the menu, choose the customer that you want. You'll note that when you change from the service organization level to the customer level, the box around that drop-down menu changes color, orange for the service organization level, and green for the customer level. This makes it very easy to quickly tell at a glance what level you're at in InCentral. All of the different actions you could perform in InCentral in previous versions that were located in the Setup menu, the Reports menu, the Help menu, or the Wizard Access panel in the lower left-hand corner have now been consolidated into the left-hand side of InCentral 8. All of the items are now organized into menus, and there are three menus that are expanded by default. The first menu is the Views menu. The Views menu contains all the commonly used screens in InCentral. The Active Issues screen, which is where you can go to see all the issues that InCentral is aware of with your client's devices. The All Devices view, which lets you add, modify, or delete devices. The Job Status dashboard, which, which lets you see all the different actions that InCentral is performing on your behalf, pushing out agents, running network discoveries, or running scripts. The Help Desk feature is where you can go to quickly remotely control devices that are not under management through InCentral. Dashboards have now been made available at the SO level as well. This is an exciting new capability because it means that you can now create cross-customer dashboards that can quickly show you how the overall status of different devices. For example, you can create an Exchange Server dashboard or a SQL Server dashboard across all of your customers, letting you quickly show your technicians only the data that they're interested in if they are your Exchange expert or your SQL expert. The final menu that is expanded by default is the Actions menu. The Actions menu brings together all the commonly used features in InCentral, importing devices, adding a new customer, approving patches, transferring files, or running an endpoint security scan. All of these activities are now available in the Actions menu just one click away. Below the Actions, Dashboards, and Views menu though are the Reports menu, giving you quick access to InCentral's advanced reporting capabilities. The My Links menu, which lets you provide quick, easy access to other external resources like an intranet site or perhaps the Enable Resource Center. All of the items that used to be in the Setup menu in previous versions of InCentral have been broken out into the Configuration menu and the Administration menu. The Configuration menu is where you go to modify settings that relate to the devices that are under management in InCentral. For example, endpoint security, how InCentral does monitoring for you, and how patch management is configured. The Administration menu is used to contain items that control InCentral itself. For example, you can create InCentral user accounts, you can manage system-wide defaults, and you can control some of its services settings. The Help menu is an extremely valuable menu. It gives you access to the Getting Started wizard, the What's New page, so that you can see the new features in this version of InCentral. It'll tell you what version of InCentral you're running, and it also gives you access to InCentral's online help. The other new piece of functionality in InCentral 8 is that we now display the system time up in the top right hand corner. If you hover your mouse over that time though, a pop-out icon appears. And this lets you again access InCentral's online help, edit your user profile, or log out of the system. I hope you found this video valuable. If you'd like to see more, please go to the Enable Resource Center, nrc.n-able.com.